Dr. Mommy Locks coming back to you again with another video. I don't know if I want to call this month five update, month six, but today is, let's see if I can get my little Fitbit to work. Come on here. Okay, it is September the 3rd. So basically, I am about five days from month six, to be honest, but I went on August 30th and got my hair done. So I got it retwisted and washed and all that. And I want to do something simple because if you can recall from my my month four um, hairstyle, I had it all pretty much up and just had a little hanging on the side. So I know this time I wanted to leave the back down and maybe just kind of pull some around the front to the back, you know, so when I'm working out, I can just, you know, put a scarf on all of this and hopefully the front will stay, you know, molded and look presentable um, through my workouts because I have not been working out, guys, and I got to get back to working out because I have allowed my cousin to talk me into doing a half marathon, which is, yes, a 13.1 miles of running in January. And we're supposed to be doing that in the good old state of Florida at Disney. So yeah, we're going to see how that's going to go in January. So I definitely, definitely need to get to get back into the groove of running. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about my hair. So what I'm going to do is hop up here and let you guys see how it is changing and transitioning. Let's see if we can move some things around. I am getting off of work. It's my first day back. I took off Friday because like I said, it was my birthday. So I took off and I haven't been there since Thursday. And of course, today is Tuesday. So here it is, guys. I know I always try to keep a lookout on my edges to make sure that they are not thinning or anything. And yeah, this is kind of what we did. My hairstylist did two rows going to the back over here with the little single row down the side there. And she also did just a few going here and another row there. And that's it. The rest of it is down in the back, as you can see. This is it. Let's see if I can pull you in so you can see under there how it's starting to hang and grow. Let's see if we can get in under there real good. It's so thick. <laughs> It's starting to thicken so well so you can barely see, you know, my retwist. So I basically have to hold it up because each little individual lock is thickening. So let's see. Here we got a glare. Let's see if we can close my blind over here. So y'all got to excuse me while I step ouch into the tub. Let's see if I can close this blind. See if that's gonna work. All right, so let's go and try this again. See if I can hop up here and show y'all the back where it's thickening at. See there, guys, that looks pretty good, huh? It's coming along. Uh -huh. So yeah. We're going to see, of course, y'all know as it gets longer, I am going to really stop going to the salon. But she just does it so well, y'all. But I I showed y'all me doing it when? Back in, on the third month or something like that. So, yeah, I do have the skills and know-how to do it. But it's just something about that salon. They have it shiny and laid down. But... I'm going to get away from that because, like I said, that can get pricey. And, like I said, I do know how to do the technique. So, but yeah, guys, just look real close. I want to show you the thickness here. See how 
is thickening up. I am so impressed with the progress so far. So my hair is just like super thick anyway. So this is going to be interesting just to see how, you know, my locks do when they get longer, how thick they're actually going to be. But yeah, see if you can see that they were actually retwisted, like I said, on Thursday. And look how thick they are. Let's see if we can zoom in so you can see a couple of them up close. See how they are there, actually. Um, really, really thick. So I think that's cool, guys. I can feel the weightedness in them as well because, of course, you know you don't have a whole lot of shed hair. You actually have little to no shed hair, so all that hair is going back down into the lock. So they're getting, you know, not only longer, but they're getting heavier. So there you have it, guys. No new products. Um, let's see if we can come in closer. No new products. Still using the same thing. I'm not ready to experiment with anything because, as you guys know, these products are working. So basically, like I said, I have my tea tree oil for all those that are new. And this is your first time listening to my videos. I have tea tree oil that I use from time to time. I have vitamin E oil. I have coconut oil. I have peppermint oil. And I think that's it. Peppermint tea, coconut, vitamin E. Yep, that's it. And of course, you guys know I'm going to have my handy dandy rose water and glycerin. So that's it, guys. And I don't have any rhyme or reason as to how I put these oils on my hair. It's just however I'm feeling. And so far, it's been working. I haven't seen any dandruff, although my scalp can get really dry. So I think what I'm doing is working and I spray the rose water and glycerin on hmm, maybe about two or three times a week and tie it down. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. This is all I have for now. And I'm not sure, like I said, if I'm going to use this video for month five, I may just come back on um, the day of month six just so that, I, like I said, I am journaling this process so that I could have a you know a small clip of what it actually looked like my hair actually looked like on the very day that started month six which is normally my month start over on the eighth of every month so this is Dr. Mommy Locks and I would love it if you would leave me a comment below like this video and also share it with those who may be interested in starting their um, love journey. Until next time, guys, peace.